Hey guys, it's Jarek the Gaming Dragon doing some more Need for Speed Hot Pursuit gameplay. And uh, I'm going to be doing the first police race, I guess. That's that's the only way I can describe it. The first race where you're a cop. There you go. And uh, first thing I need to say, I'm playing this on PC using a 360 controller, which you can do. Just plug it in, it'll work. Uh, as well as most games nowadays. But uh, I haven't done this before. This is my second race overall. Uh, this one coming up. And might as well play it. Also, no offense to anyone, I'm not giving you my Steam name, so don't ask, please. Today you will be in the drive forward Crown Victoria. As you prove your value to the department, command will make more exotic equipment available to you. Good luck. So I started this before. I started it, the cutscene started happening, I wanted to record it, and I alt-tabbed, quit out of the game, and went back in, and it doesn't look like they played the cutscene again. Basically, they say, you've been accepted as, you know, into the police force, and it's like, because I'm so sure that you can randomly just join the police. <laughs> yeah, this is my first, first police race, I guess you could say. And uh, this is where really where Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, Hot Pursuit has changed. I saw my brother do this before. I haven't actually done it myself. And uh, by the way, this looks a lot better on PC than 360 because the 360 version has it locked at 30 frames a second. And uh, that's it, it. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It just you can tell the difference when you're playing on PC compared to playing on 360. Of Mazda heading south on Three Points Road. Interceptor assistance is command approved and en route to your location. Affirmative command, intercepting unit is on scene and engaging pursuit. Standing down, over to you. <laughs> that didn't look like a turn. Yeah, this play is right here. It plays a lot more like uh, Burnout, where you just smash the shit out of them and then, uh, yeah, you win. Basically, that's how it works. It's different than the first one, where you had to, like, stop them completely. Ugh, oh, this car handles like shit. Hurt! God! Hey! I win! New personal best, the first time I've done it. Yay, a car doesn't suck balls, because that car, the one I was using, handled like ass. But yeah, short little demo. That's kind of the, uh, something that's just getting you into what you need to do. Alright, so since the first one, first mission was so short, I decided I'm going to show you another one. This one basically is just a time trial, get from point A to point B uh, to stop someone, otherwise you fail. You get to race with a Lamborghini in this one, and uh, after using a really shitty car, it's kind of hard to get used to, to be honest. Something I'm not liking too much with this game, like, drifting was really easy in, uh... Drifting was really easy in, uh, Burnout, and I'm so sure cops would randomly cut people off like that and start a crash. Um, yeah, drifting is really easy in Burnout. In this game, not so much. It's, like, an immediate, you have to drift all the way. You cannot do a light drift. It's kind of annoying. Maybe that's just because I've gotten so used to how natural drifting felt in dirt. See, that's what I mean. It's automatically full-on drift. But, um, yeah, in dirt too, it, you know, natural drifting. It was, I just missed the shortcut. But it wasn't a, uh, it wasn't a forced drift like in this game. Oh, God, get out of the way of the car. Yeah, collision, two seconds, fucking bullshit. They add two seconds to your time if you get a collision. I hate that crap. But, um... Yeah, Dirt 2 just feels a lot more natural. It's, it's just really hard to adjust to a more video game, arcade-ish racing game after playing more of a simulation. 
Which, to be honest, I'm, I'm preferring Dirt 2 at this point, but I mean, it, they're really hard to compare. One of them is a video game, one of them's meant to be a simulation. Uh, simulation type video game. Collision 2 seconds just for grazing the fucking wall, bullshit. There you go. Personal best. And that's all you had to do. It's just a time trial, get there from point A to point B on time before the time runs out. It feels a lot like burnout, I'll be honest and say that. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Another race. Got some, uh, diversity in there, and there's some of the police races. Promotion! There are 13 months in a year? When did this happen? Hey, I got a new car. Hey, I got another new car. Hey, the first one that's not just a stereotypical sedan. And no, I haven't unlocked the Lamborghini yet. They just give it to you for that mission at the time. There you go. Okay, end of video. See you guys later.